Um, let's hear from Mr. Alex, the birthday boy. Uh, happy birthday to you, my brother, once again. Please talk to us in the next eight minutes. Yes, thank you, Mr. Niger Walsh. I greet everybody according to the time of your country. My fellow panelists, thank you for the work you're doing, for the struggle against these uh, evil forces, these political vampires and dinosaurs. Uh, I want to thank everybody, viewers worldwide, those on the comment section, our comment section soldiers, we thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to address, uh, I won't call him senior advocate anymore because he has become a disgrace to the legal luminary, Festus Kayamo. For me, I, with all sense of responsibility, I dare say that the Asofi ossifying and sissifying political dinosaur, which is the APC just now, they are trying to circumvent the criminal acrimonies surrounding one, 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 you know, APC presidential candidates with a multi dysfunctional personality cataclysm syndrome. Whether his name is Bolatinobu, whether his name is uh, Yakini, whether his name is, uh, I don't know, he, he's got a lot of nomenclature. And he has criminal charges in America. And there were documents to this instance, even before the elections. So is Mr. Festus Kayamu not telling me that you can be a drug pusher 35 years later you emerge as a Nigerian president? You can have drug charges as a criminal in America and your money is taken instead of you going to prison to the tomb of $430,000 and 35 years later you emerge as a Nigerian president? Is the Nigerian presidency now a domicile for criminals and drug pusher? Are we, are we going to start raising prodigies who are going to be Pablo, Pablo Escobar of Nigerian political terrain? I don't, I don't, I don't cease to understand this political skyamaki going on with the APC. Is I mean, it's becoming so, so, so parochial to me. I don't know. This is something is not right. Alice. There are there are there are a lot of Cases, Alice. Yes, your, come again. Your your grammar don't make me open my camera. Come in, no, <laughs> because I, I did look at I did try to say go for the dictionary. That's in the book. I beg, if Miss, anybody get dictionary for you, but no, I did. Mister Nigerwash, on a on a Mister Nigerwash, on a very serious case. No, this is not the joke, Alice. I need to find dictionary. If anybody is for the panel, borrow me. Mr. Nigerwood, Mr. Nigerwood, you go makia everybody for this after. Mr. Nigerwood, my sincere apologia is not intentional. I've been, I've been apotheosizing, I've been, you know, soloquizing in the in the positive note. Wait, uh, before you solo quiz, local Abasha, local, wait, Alex. Oh, no. We can't be able to... Mr. Nedawas, Mr. Nedawas, sir, I put it, I put it to you that the cases on Amebola Kunubu just now no, is hanging like the gangly pendulum of Babylon no, that we cannot just wait. show, we cannot just circumvent. These are things Peter will be trying to put on the court. How did he become a presidential candidate? Let alone winning an election. What society are we going to? I, 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 I mean, are we creative for our future children? <laughs> I hope Mr. F Mr. Festus Kayamu, who is credentials, must be questioned, must be investigated on how he became a, a son in a country that the rule of law has almost gone on a perpetual vacation. I don't know. I think the legal luminary institution in our schools, or I mean, I should be investigated on how people become sons these days. That a son is not defending a drug peddler. A son is not defending a mom with that certificate to prove not to primary sins, the minimum requirements to be a Nigerian president. For me, there's more to read than we can see. It's not just about ethnocentric chauvinism or, you know, paralytic paraboism on the part of Mr. Festus Kayamu. He should be stripped of his robe. He should never be allowed to go into the hollow shambas of our judicial system. 
It's a disgrace. He has practiced the Esau Jacob type of politics. Give me porridge or I die. And they do the life of 200 million people. What a shame. That you, you choose a criminal over a more qualified, tested, and trusted former governor with verifiable antecedents. Niger was a majestic, a majestic effect sound. We are coming. We are just a generation behind them. We are very close to them. We are coming. The Bible says, there arose a, a, I mean, a pharaoh in Egypt that knew no Joseph. A time we come, the politics of anti-paki, double-decker corruption practices is going to die in this country. And books are going to be open. And the likes of, you know, the so-called, I, I find it so difficult to call him a son. Jesus Kayamu, upon all the years you spent studying law, you are defending a man who is known to be called Jagaban. What is the meaning of that nomenclature Jagaban? How do you explain it? What is antecedent? A man who is accused of taking Lagos, the whole of Lagos, the choice areas of Lagos, to himself. A man who has instituted a monarchical hereditary family democracy in Lagos, equal to dictatorship. You bow before me or you get nothing. Gentlemen and ladies, it's not funny. It's not funny. We are in a very ticky time bomb. That sons, professors, are not working as, I mean, as errand boys for thugs and towels. This is why you saw the, 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 the ethnic bigotry. This is why you saw the physical attack, the brutality you saw on election day in Lagos. This is why you saw this, this so-called ethnic civil war in the name of elections. This is why you saw the, the, the crimes against humanity. I call it a genocide against a, against a particular tribe. Because sons and professors have chosen a pot of porridge over their destinies. Professor Skayamo belongs to the shameful part of history. He's a disgrace and he should be stripped of his credentials. He should be investigated. And he should be banned from the legal luminary of Nigerian legal system. I say that without any sense of apologia. So Nigeria was, I came here with a very, a very strong sense of ventilation. I'm not really, I'm not happy with the way things are going. It, 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 Nigeria is a, is a country where, where, I mean, where a man who is more qualified comes third. And a man with drug, drug dealing activity, I mean, antecedent in America, with papers to show. And a man who also has antecedent of selling the national assets of a nation comes first and second. Wow. It, I mean, it's such a puzzle. I wish somebody can, can, can help me solve this puzzle. Nigeria was, I want to speak about Senator Ekuramandu in the United Kingdom. Uh, Senator Ekuramandu for me, I don't know, a man with 40 houses. A man with millions of dollars, pounds, euros, littered all over the world. Now he's being convicted. At least Festus Kayamu was not there to defend him because he is good at defending these evil politicians. I'm sure he was brought up for this reason. But, uh, but the late Ghalifa Wame will be shaking in his grave. This is not the characteristics or the apparatus or the legal apparatchik of, 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 of that great man who Festus Kayamu said under him. Ghalifa Wame spoke true to power. Ghalifa Yemi challenged the military. Ghalifa Yemi, I mean, he brought attention of the world to the Nigerian problems. Ghalifa Yemi was not a stomach infrastructure lawyer. A, a lot of times, lions most times do not give birth to lions. So for me, Ekwema Du should face justice. Even if I don't believe in the colonial tendency or, or the neo-colonial practices of the British in the Nigerian political affair. Because I must put it to you that they are also part of the problem. But we, we cannot blame outsiders for our own problems. I'm very happy. It serves him right. And I hope he'll, uh, he stay there and come out and be a changed person. After all, Saul became poor. And, and he did a lot of good things. Niger was. I'm sorry to take, uh, to take your time. I don't know if I still have time. To no, go your to the time's next already time. passed since. All this parapoising. We like to just continue. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I'm very sorry. It's not, it's not intentional because when you read, when you communicate, they come like the rattle of a gun. It, it becomes normal. It's like putting a fish. 
into the I mean into the river. So guys, I will drop it here so that other people can have time to express themselves too. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. On this point, I would like to ask <laughs> after all the grammar now. We need to what find is your if, if, if be alive. Is Jesus Kiyamu? Is it the? I will be very. Uh, I, 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 I will be very uh, happy uh, if you don't. Uh, if you uh, don't cut my submission and send to him, cut this side of my submission and send to him. Mr. Mr. Alex, please. I just hope you can teach me this your political bala blues, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bola ba. Bahala. Okay. Okay, Alex. Once more, happy birthday to you, my lovely brother. Uh, although I don't order my dictionary, they say go arrive in two days time. So I'll come back to, to reinterpret what my brother talked just now. For many of now, we don't know what he mean. But meanwhile, we need to find out if the Tuskayamu is still alive at this particular moment. Like that, you, where's your picture? It's like the, the blows were coming, you disappeared on the screen, no? Oh. You don't see, say, the thing, when me open my camera, I don't know how, <laughs> Me don't even know how I, 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 uh, a lot of Nigeria. I ain't stay like that. Self. The thing they hit me for head. Now make me look like I'm wrong. <laughs> All right. Let's hear from uh, my brother, uh, a lot of Nigeria. Thank you very much. For Before that, oh, the love of God is my strength. Thanks for the super chat. God bless you all. Right down the comment section. This is what we have here on this platform. You know, everybody here are very, very important. That we are, uh, with this togetherness, we carry Nigeria forward. Yeah, let's hear from you, my brother, Alara of Nigeria. Thanks for joining us. Good evening to you.